What's going on, guys? For the fans of football and the fans of the New York Giants, today I'm going to bring you New York Giants uh, free agent signings and re-signings for this week. So basically, free agent um, off the football off-season, episode one, I guess. So, um, some weird things happened this this week. A lot of weird things in free agency. Uh, crazy trades and a whole bunch of free agency signings that we never thought would happen. Um, but the Giants are nothing special when it comes to free agency. Um, never really was a few, um, few like really good players here and there, like Andre Roll, um, and Ter- Antonio Pierce. Um, David Deal, um, and I guess the most recent, John Beeson, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, was he traded? I don't know. (laughs) Okay? I don't know. But, so let's start off with the New York Giants free agency signings. Um, we decided to re-sign O-line John Jerry. He sucks. I don't know why we even got him. But we did, so, and we got linebacker Mark Herslick. Um, I like him. Um, more so fits the outside linebacker role than the middle linebacker role. Um, he had a career year in the outside linebacker role, so I think he best fits that. He should stay there and play some depth there. Fullback Henry Hynoski, um is a decent fullback, but he's a fullback. He gets the job done. You don't really do much as a fullback, so um, he gets the job done. So we kept him, and I agree with that. Um, Wide receiver Kevin Ogletree. um, I believe he was let go by the Detroit Lions last year, and we brought him in uh, for some depth, being that Victor Cruz and Gerald Jernigan went down, and Mario Manningham, so... Um, are we bringing back Mario Manningham? I have no clue. If I'm not mistaken, he probably retired. Probably going to, so whatever. Um, we re-signed um, free agent. I believe he was from the Browns. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he was on the Browns, and he was with some other team. Then he came with us. Um, he's a running back, Chris Ogbenaya. Um, I don't agree with this free agent signing too much. We already have um, Rashad Jennings, who's our starter, Andre Williams, our rookie from last year. We just signed Shane Vereen. Um, he's going to be our third back. Then we have Michael Cox. We'll see if we let him go. Um, um, Orleans Darkwa, I think we should keep him. He's a backup scat back. Um, and we have Chris Ogmania. They're going to complete. They're gonna, I, I mean... Just because there's six backs doesn't mean that they're all gonna make it onto the team. So, um, and then we have some uh, some random guy like Nikita or something. I don't know. I never even heard of him honestly. Um, I don't even know how he got on the team. I never even heard of that. Um, him being on the team. Um, until I looked it up like two days ago, I was like, what? <laughs> the, the, uh, the Giants did some like um, how the New York Giants roster looks right now and. Um, it, it took out all the free agents and um, left everyone else there. I'm like, who's Nikita? Whatever. I guess he was on the practice squad at some point. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it showed him in a Bengals uniform, though, so who knows? Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. But anyway, oh, yeah, we have six backs. Doesn't mean they're all they're always going to get the job. I think... The people who are going to get the job, honestly, is probably, you know, Rashad Jennings given, Andre Williams given, Shane Vereen given. So that's our three backs right there. But the depth backs, I think you're going to have Orleans Darkwall, and I believe you're going to have Michael Cox. I think Chris Ogbenaya is gone. So don't even worry about him. I don't care. Um, We extended head coach Tom Coughlin through the 2016 season. I agree with this being that I love Tom Coughlin. I love him. But if he can't, I mean, he's hitting 70. He's going to hit 70 this year. So through the 2016, 
2016 season, he'll probably be 71, 72. He's probably going to be like the oldest coach ever to coach in history or something like that. He's old, man. My grandparents don't even last that long. Um, yes, I don't know why my my family members die quick, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I we'll see what happens. Um, odds are, if we do bad this season, he'll he'll be gone anyway. Um, so I I don't know if he's just too old for it. You know, can he can he survive going up to Green Bay? During its coldest moments, you know, going up there and at 70 years old, can you do that? You know, we're not going to Green Bay. We're going to Minnesota, but I mean, they have a, no, it's outdoor, but now it's outdoor. It used to be indoor, but they got a new stadium. So uh, we'll see. I uh, will see. I mean, can he, can he go all the way down to Tampa when it's really hot? That like, We played Tampa in Tampa this year. Um, that's where I'm, I'm going to that game. Um... Who knows? Who knows? But um, last free agent signing for this week, um, Shockey Brown, cornerback. Come, I believe he's coming from Jacksonville. Um, he he, we added him for some depth, and he actually made some um, impress me quite a bit. So I agree with this free agent signing, and hopefully he can be a long time Giant, as I do with all the good players that are once on the Giants. So let's go to. The free agent signings that didn't work for this week so far. Entrell Roll, sad to see him go, man. Entrell, man, probably one of, one of the best safeties I ever played for the New York Giants. It really sucks to see him go, but goodbye is in the, in, inevitable in the football league. So, um, Entrell Roll's gone. Uh, lost him to the Chicago Bears. My one of my friends is a Chicago Bears fan, and he's so happy they got on troll roll. And I'm just so um, angry that out of all teams, he gets he gets on troll roll. Um, but I'm just so happy he stayed out of division and stay out of our schedule because it would have sucked playing against him. Not that he would, you know, make a huge impact, just um, the emotional feel to it, you know. But whatever. Um, yeah, one of my favorite Giants out of all time, basically, for me. Um, Walter Thurman III, he got injured last year. He played a few games, but he showed some promise a little bit, but he didn't, they didn't resign him. I mean, we need a slot. I mean, you know what? Now that I think about it, I kind of don't care. <laughs> Being that we had Tremaine McBride, who did amazing in that Washington game, got, got himself a pick. Got himself a forced fumble, um, got some pass defense. Uh, too bad that he got injured, but I believe um, he's gonna play good in our slot. Um, so, you know, goodbye, Walter Thurman. <laughs> uh, he's going to the Eagles. So, um, Jaquan Williams still haven't reached an agreement. Um, I don't even know if they're looking to resign him. They need to resign that guy. He's probably a linebacker for the future for us. So. Uh, we got Spencer Pacinger, who didn't um, we didn't talk to yet. We didn't talk to Quentin Demps. We didn't talk to Gerald Jernigan. We didn't talk to James Brewer. We didn't talk to Mike Patterson. We didn't talk to Zach Bowman. We didn't talk to Adam Snyder. Snyder. I always get that name, Snyder. Um, probably gonna let him go anyway. Uh, didn't talk to Daniel Fells. Didn't talk to, oh no, that's it. Didn't talk to Daniel Fells. And um, all in all, I think we need to resign. We need to get our priorities straight, honestly. So we need to get Stevie Brown done. We didn't talk to him yet. I forgot to mention him. We need to get our priorities straight in free safety. Um, if, we, if we let Stevie Brown go, there goes, I mean, we already got Cooper Taylor right now as our only strong safety. If we let go Stevie Brown, who do we have in strong uh, free safety? We have Nat Burhe. And that's if we don't resign Stevie Brown or Quentin Demp. So I think we need to get our priorities straight right now because our biggest need coming into this draft was offensive tackle and linebacker. Don't make the safety situation hit us even worse, being that we have Steve Spagnuolo, who, is, who loves blitzing these defensive backs and loves utilizing them, who was a defensive back, coach in in Baltimore and they did a pretty impressive job so 
Come on, man. We have to re-sign Stevie Brown. We have to. And Quentin Dempse. So we'll see. I apologize if you hear shaking. I'm using this mic right here. Because this mic on my tablet kind of sucks. So um, you, you'll you hear like a whole, a whole bunch of fuzzing and background noise or whatever. But So... We need to we need to get something straight out straightened out with Stevie Brown and Quentin Dempse. Um, who else do we need to resign? Um, Zach Bowman we need to resign. Got some depth. He's a really good cornerback. I mentioned it in my preview video. Um, we need to resign. Yeah, that's it. I guess I guess that's it. Oh, and Spencer Paysinger just for some depth. So that's that's it. I mean that's all that I need right now. So let's go to this week's free agent signings. Who's Who's welcomed? Who who is welcomed on the team? Five new players on the New York Giants. Welcome to the New York Giants. Shane Vereen, running back from New England. JT Thomas, middle linebacker from Jacksonville. Jonathan Casillas, outside linebacker from New England. Uh, Dwayne Harris, uh, wide receiver, kick kick returner, and punt returner for Dallas. Thank God. That is amazing. We got Dwayne Harris. Um, and Marshall Newhouse, don't really know much about him, so I don't care. But I do care at the same time, just see what he can, um, what kind of competition he could pull off, uh, versus our scrub offensive lineman. So, um, let's start off with Shane Vereen, who we signed first. Um, he's going to be our third wide receiver. Andre Williams will probably be ahead of him, uh, being that, how I mean, not not that Andre Williams did good last year. Don't get me wrong, he did below average last year. Um, but what can you expect from a you know what fourth round pick? And he was forced to um, start for us and coming into the coming to to something that he doesn't really know has any chemistry and doesn't really have the NFL feel yet. So um, what can you do? So Shane Vereen will probably be behind Andre Williams. He's going to be used as a scab back, not as a primary running back. So that's that. J.T. Thomas, middle linebacker, will probably utilize him in the outside linebacker role. Or we'll, we'll switch out with him and John Beeson um, for some rotations because John Beeson is injury prone. And um, just to let off some heat from John Beeson, you could put in uh, J.T. Thomas there to sub him. And I think that will be a good fit there for um, Giants linebacking core. Then we got Jonathan Casillas. Um, he's an outside linebacker, so he'll probably be, I don't know if he's a weak side or a strong side. Um, so I don't really know yet. He'll probably be rotating with Jaquan Williams. Um, so we'll see about that. Then we got Devon Kennard. So I don't know which kind of li outside linebacker he is. Um, so we'll see. We will see. And then we got um, Dwayne Harris, wide receiver, kick returner, and punt returner. Um, I'm not looking for him to be much in the wide receiver game, although I do believe that he could be something in this wide receiver game, being that um, he only has 33 receptions, 30, 22 or 33, um, for the Dallas Cowboys because, you know, you're backed up with people like Des Bryant, Jason Witten, Terrence Williams, Cole Beasley, so you don't really have any spot for, they didn't really have any spots for him in the Dallas receiving core. So I believe uh, with coming into New York Giants and uh, our wide receiver core, um, wide receiver position is only strengthened in the top and not really at the bottom. Um, so maybe he'll get some snaps here and there. Um, but I'm not really looking forward to that as much as we, as much as um, some people may hope. I think that he belongs in the kick returning game because we haven't had a good kick returner in a while or a punt returner. Um, Odell Beckham was our punt returner. I think um, a lot of Giants fans, including me, was wondering why on earth was Odell Beckham taking punts. I don't know. I, mean, I wouldn't even do that on Madden. Like, are you serious? Your star wide receiver is taking punts for you? I mean, come on. <sighs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, we have someone to replace Odell Beckham in the punt game. Um, someone to replace Michael Cox, Michael Scrub Cox in the um, kick returning game so um, being that he is a great he's ranked fifth in in yardage um, in, in kick returning I think it was last year he was ranked fifth so 
Um, I'm really excited about that. Although, and, and plus he's a gunner. He's a gunner. If you guys don't know what a gunner is, it's a guy that tries to get to the um, the person receiving the, the kicks or the punts. Um, I mean the punts. And um, and when when um, his team is punting off, so um, they look like they look like wide receivers are standing side to side. Um, you know, in front of this the right next to the O lineman and stuff like that. You you know what I mean. I think you guys know what a gunner is. Um, Marshall Newhouse is our offensive tackle. I don't really know much about him. He's going to be competing in the tackle spot. So he's going to be competing, competing with either Will Beatty and or um, Justin Pugh. I don't know what kind of tackle he's playing, right tackle or left tackle. If he's playing left tackle, he's competing with Will Beatty. And if he's playing right tackle, he's going to be complete, competing with Justin Pugh. So we'll see about that. Um, please, guys, leave a comment down below if you're a Giants fan or something like that. Just let me know what you guys think about these free agent signings. Um, who do you think the Giants should sign next? Um, I kind of wish that the Giants get four or five more players for um, the free agents free agency uh, period just to see what we got and compete and stuff like that. So like this video, please. Helps me out. Um, subscribe if you're new. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Oh, almost fell.